this is hard. It's a, I've given birth, I could do that. But this was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. In Brooklyn, a 16-year-old girl has been shot in the head. We learned that she was an innocent bystander, and she is now the fourth teenager shot this week. And the third shooting in Brooklyn today. The latest scene of the gun insanity is a park in Borum Hill. Newscopter 7 overhead. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim on the ground for us with the latest. Stefan. Well, Bill and Liz, we just spoke with a resident whose apartment window faces this playground on the first floor. He says when this happened, he heard several gunshots, no argument preceding it, but he says that this playground was full of toddlers and infants and their grandmothers and nannies who ducked and screamed for cover when this happened. As you said, police say a 16-year-old innocent bystander sitting on a park bench was shot in her head, now in critical condition, fighting for her life. The suspects were told fled. Three suspects, actually, police say one on foot, one on a city bike, and one on a scooter. This park is on Wyckoff Street, and this happened just before 3 o'clock this afternoon, just around 3 o'clock this afternoon. And we are on the corner of Wyckoff and Hoy Streets in Borum Hill to give you a sense of where exactly this park is. Again, a 16-year-old innocent bystander is now fighting for her life. A 16-year-old girl shot in the head inside a playground. The new video of the people police are looking for that's just into our newsroom. That's where we start. We thank you for joining us. I'm Natalie Pascal. Police say they're looking for a group of people in that shooting that sent folks scrambling. Happened here at Wyckoff and Nevin Streets in Borum Hill. Police tell us the teen girl was shot in the head. And there are a lot of questions tonight. News Force Miles Miller is following all the latest developments live in Borum Hill. Miles, of course, we want an update on the girl, but also you have new video coming in, too. That's right, Natalie. That girl is at Methodist Hospital. We're told she's in grave condition. I want to show you uh, right behind me. There is, as you can see, police in the middle of the intersection. But beyond police uh, is a car with a blown out window. Uh, a bullet went right through uh, that back window there. We're, heard, we're told there were about four to five shots heard here. Uh, let's now show you the video of the three people police believe to be involved in all of this. Three young boys who rode away from the scene on on city bikes in the moments after the shooting. Let's go ahead and show you the scene now. Uh, that is where police say this all went down. It was just after three. A uh, girl hanging out with her friends at the chess tables here at a playground near the Gowanus houses. She is sitting uh, at that table, is shot in the head. EMS arrives, takes her to Methodist Hospital, where we are told, again, she is in grave condition. Then the investigation centers here on the street. We'll come back now to a live picture of of Wyckoff, where you can see that car that has that blown out back window from one of the bullets there. Uh, the thing that is the common denominator in all of this is that that girl was 16 years old, and the people but responsible for all of this do not look to be much older than that. It's a recurring trend we're seeing in crimes happening in the city uh, this week and in the past few months here in the city. We again know that that 16-year-old girl, as we've said, at four and in five, was not the intended target of this shooting. And so that is why police, the 7-6 squad, working overtime tonight to figure out who was involved in all of this. The mother of the teenager shot in the head in a park in Brooklyn shares her story with us. Hello, I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Sandra Bookman. That gunfire erupted yesterday afternoon. A bullet hit the 16-year-old in the head as she was hanging out with friends after school. Kyla Simone Sobres Batiz just underwent surgery and can communicate tonight through gestures. Her mother spoke exclusively to Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal. Nadine Sobers is still trying to process what happened to her daughter Kyla. This is hard. It's a I've given birth. I could do that. But this was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. She spent the day by Kyla's hospital bed, and she can't forget that numbing call she got Friday afternoon. This is her friend, and Kyla has been shot. The 16-year-old senior who has dreams to be a lawyer was hit by a stray bullet when she was in Gowanus Playground in Borum Hill with her friends. Nadine called her mother. All I was hearing was screaming. Nadine, speak to me. 
They didn't speak to me. Breed, breed. Neighbors say the park was filled with families and children when gunfire erupted, sending everyone scrambling. One of those bullets hit Kyla directly as she was sitting on the bench. The shot hit on the left side of her head and it trajected upwards. Kyla is recovering here at Brooklyn Methodist Hospital and doctors say they were able to remove that bullet from her head and thankfully it did not hit her brain. She has to be incubated to keep the swelling and and everything down. Police are searching for three suspects, all males wearing dark clothing. One took off on a scooter, another on a city bike, the third on foot. I don't know why it was done, what was the reason behind it, other than it's complete nonsensical nonsense. But what's more important is to get their daughter back home again. With God's grace, She's going to she's going to make because she's a fighter tonight. A 16 year old girl is in a hospital fighting for her life after being shot yesterday. Police say she was not the intended target. CBS 2's Karen Dillon is live at New York Presbyterian Methodist Hospital in Park Slope, Brooklyn, with the very latest for us, Karen. Well, Alice, just moments ago, we learned the identity of that teenage girl, and I just spoke to her mother, her heartbroken mother on the phone, who says the family is absolutely devastated by what happened to her. Now, the young girl's name is Kyla Simone Sobers Batiste. Right now, the Cobble Hill High School of American Studies student is here at the Methodist Hospital fighting for her life. Her mother says she had surgery to remove bullet fragments from her head, but she is strong and currently recovering. Just hours after the girl was shot in the head by a stray bullet at this Brooklyn park, police continued to canvass the scene Saturday. Residents remained on edge. She just was at the wrong place at the wrong time. It could happen to any of us. It could happen to me. It could happen to you. Police say the shooting happened just after 3 in the afternoon at the crowded park near Nevin Street and Wyckoff Street, close to the Gowanus houses in Borham Hill. Investigators say the motive for the violence remains unknown. It's upsetting how often it happens. This shooting is one of at least four this week involving teenage victims, something people in this neighborhood find troubling. Ben Collins Blake brought his daughter to the park, which appeared to be less crowded today. It was a bit eerie when I got here this morning because I was the only one here, which is abnormal. So right now, Alice, this remains an active investigation. Police say they are currently looking for three male suspects in this case. A teenage girl who survived a shooting in Brooklyn was all smiles as she walked out of the hospital where she was greeted with a chorus of cheers and applause. Kyla Sobers Batties is now back home one day before her birthday, and she has plenty to celebrate. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Waller has the story. This teenage girl nearly died in that stray bullet shooting two weeks ago, and now miraculously she's being released from the hospital the day before her 17th birthday. <laughs> Police officers lining the entrance to Methodist Hospital applauding 16-year-old Kyla Sobers Baddies, still wheelchair bound, but alive, smiling and talking. How do you feel? I feel great. Yes. Um, amazing. Her mother Nadine joining her in the ambulance with those birthday balloons. Kyla turns 17 tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for everything. All the prayers and ooh, the hospital and the officers and everyone. Kyla was not the intended target of that shooting, struck in the head while sitting on a swing outside the Gowanus houses on October 1st. Officers responded to a desperate scene. At the scene, she was likely to die. We thought that she would not survive. Command officer of Patrol Borough Brooklyn North, Judith Harrison, organized this morning's hospital send-off. This young lady was in the park with her friends. A good kid, someone who went to school, got good grades, who endeavors to go to college. She actually wants to major in law. Just a great kid, and she's shot by a stray bullet. It's horrific. And while Kyla is on the mend, police are still looking for the shooter, releasing these surveillance images of three persons of interest in hopes someone will turn them in. Kyla's grandma with this message for that gunman who shot her granddaughter. I wish him all the best. That's all I can say. As my daughter said, she can't forgive, but I have to forgive.